All right, I'm here at delivery. I gotta, I gotta go because I spent like freaking half an hour trying to find the freaking security check to check in, so I couldn't, I couldn't get my paperwork. And if I don't have my paperwork, I can't get the trailer. And so I gotta go. I've been here for at least 40, probably an hour at this point. It, how long should it take to get a new trailer? Just drop a new trailer. Oh jeez, it's so much snow. Snow is just going straight in my face. After finally hooking up to the trailer, it was time for me to drive the longest trip I've ever been on. 2,100 miles all the way from Montana to Plainfield, Indiana. It was definitely going to take a couple days to get there. Each day I drove like at least 10 hours out of the 11 hours I'm allowed to drive just so I can try to make it on time if not early. Now the whole route was through mountains. There was snow everywhere, ice, lots of curves, uphills, downhills, and I'm not gonna lie that kind of scared me. Especially since this was my first year driving. So I finally decided that it'd be a good idea to buy a CB radio. I don't know if I set this up right. I guess it's supposed to go there. Let me test it. I don't know. Radio check, radio check, is this thing working? I had this on for like an hour last night and no one was talking. So either truckers are really shy or I completely F this thing up. It's supposed to uh, tell me weather alerts, like emergency weather alerts. Like it was telling me about a, an avalanche in Idaho. I'm really close to Idaho, this is Idaho. But I'm gonna go just, I'm gonna stay in Wyoming so it's not really a problem. As I was driving, I decided to test out the CB radio for the first time. Hey, any of you know any good trucking companies for a guy that uh, has six months experience? What do you guys recommend? I never did get a response. Maybe they just didn't want to distract the rookie while he was driving. Thanks for looking out, guys. So I'm here filling up. I gotta go. The next fuel stop is like 700 miles away. I, that's gonna take two days. I like my goal for every day is 500 miles. There's no way I'm gonna make that one. And so I gotta find a place to uh, stop for the night. Once I got back on the road, I just started rambling on about something. I don't know why, but because this thing, this freaking thing doesn't show me. Why don't I take my 34 hour break tonight, five hours, and then having to redo the full night, I'm gonna have to take a 10 hour break. That's mad, there's no negotiating that. I have to take a 10 hour break tonight. And tomorrow I'll just take the day off and then I'll take another 14 hour break and another 10. You guys want to know what trucking is like? This is it. You sit down in the same spot for 8 to 10 hours a day and you just complain about something. Sometimes it's traffic. Sometimes it's the weather. Heck, sometimes you complain about why the heck you're complaining. That's trucking. I am at a pretty much a gas station. I went from the pilot in Evanston, Wyoming to here. That's insane. 600, I was able to get 607 miles, that's insane. Now, I was absolutely starving. So as soon as I parked that truck, I went straight to cook. Some of you may be wondering if my diet has changed since becoming a trucker. And yeah, it has. I'm eating a lot more microwavable food than I used to. I mean, I always cook my dinner. And for breakfast, I usually have two granola bars. But for lunch, I usually have microwavable food or fast food. Being healthy on the road is a serious issue. All right, it is day. Was it 31? January 1st, 2nd, 3rd. It is day 4 of me trying to deliver this load. And then I still have a little bit of time tomorrow to do the delivery. So this, this, it's taken me 5 days to deliver this. This is insane. I mean, this boy's a huge load though. Going from Montana to all the way to Indiana, that's. Uh, like 2,100 and something miles. After driving through five states, through snow, mountains, and ice, I finally arrived at my destination. But now began the real challenge, parking the dang thing. And oh boy, was that fun. I haven't, I haven't backed in such a long time. I 
really haven't. What is it? One and a half here? I don't know. Oh god, guys. I think it's here. I forgot how to back. I don't. I think it's. I don't know. I think this is right. We'll see how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching, and honestly, I'm grateful that you even watched this far, so thank you, and keep on trucking.